Hi everybody, it's Paul from Gold Gauntlet Comics, and today is I for Indies. So recently, as many of you know, I have my 90s haul that I did, and I did a bunch of like music to it and showed it off. I found this book in there, and I'd never heard of it. And I'll be honest with you, it was a little hard to research it, because uh, it's just one of those indie books that's really rare. Um, so here we have the cover. Uh, wigged out our first issue, JMM, dollar ninety-five. Mature readers. Um, that's because there is some cuss words in it, some swear words. You know, just something to be aware of. Look at that gorgeous cover. Monster Comics. Look them up. They had some. They have some background to them. Not a lot, but quite a bit. Um, if you look, I'll show you on here. A lot of, it's all indie for these folks, Monster Comics. I couldn't even find a Wikipedia on them. Um, but that's okay. It makes it cooler. So let's go back to this. You flip it over. Look at that art and color work. Okay. So this is... Another one-man show, John Michael McCarthy, it was created by him, edited by Ryder Wyndham, um, cover steps by Roberta Gregory, designed by Jim Blackenhard, published by Kim Thompson and Gary Groth. This is funny. Uh, Cadaver number one. <laughs> Uh, the unofficial death certificate for unpopular culture is published quor quarterly by Monster Comics. Only two issues of this came out. This one and number two. I haven't gotten number two yet. Like I said, I'm just digging into this and finding out. But a little bit about J. Mar Michael McCarthy. He's been a writer, penciler, inker, colorist, letter cover artist, and most of these are all independent titles. I think he had one or two that he did. Let me see. Uh, yeah, he had a Dark, Dark Horse Presents and I think Blood of Dracula in 1987. But other than that, he's mostly underground or independent. Um, if you have a chance, go and look up his stuff. I can't show it on here. I don't know what YouTube would do about it, um, but interesting stuff. So, the editor is Ryder T. Wyndham. I looked him up, and he has got a resume. Look at this. He wrote all these Star Wars, the Tijuana Bible. He's a penciler, inker, and then his... His resume for editor is huge. Aliens vs. Predator, Aliens, Communion, Dark Horse Comics. I mean, long resume, but mostly in the independent world. So it's pretty cool. So back to this comic. I really enjoyed it. I read through it. It's black and white, or they say monochromatic. Uh, the art is really cool. The writing, you have three different stories that tie into each other, which was really neat, too. Um, basically, you have this young lady who uh, basically is so... No, sorry, let me back up. You have this lady who gets electrocuted for um, trying to kill the president. She killed a lot of the security staff. And so she gets electrocuted right in the front. And she did it because, um, basically because she couldn't go fight. So you move on, you have this young lady whose mom, whose parents are making her wear a wig because she's ugly. She had shaved her hair. And she finds this guy, Pud. They have history. Pud is a big fan of the lady who got electrocuted, whose name is, by the way, Frida. You go through. He just got... He was in a mental institution. 
He has screws in his necks to deal with anxiety. Tell you what, this guy's art is really, really interesting if you really break it down and look at it. I love this. That was really, I don't know, something has caught me about it. Because you're looking at this up here, and he does something that cool with the shading and gradient. So they're going through, they're talking about what's going on with Pud. Pud asks about Frida. Young lady breaks it down for him. He freaks out. Next morning we have is they're selling a, they're trying to sell a head. I think it's Marilyn Monroe. Um, they never really clarified it. So these two guys go nuts and they want to steal the head. They're not going to pay for it. They're going to auction it off. And then all of a sudden in comes this dude with a big helmet on. Almost looks like Iron Man. Love this little panel here. So all the bolts bounce off of him. He kills the two dudes. There's a he grabs a professor. They take off. Meanwhile, in Memphis, Pud and the young lady arrive for a show by a group called the Third Graders. There they are. Uh, that's funny. You go through redneck. I, I love that art too. So, you go on, she gets killed in a crash. Marilyn's head goes in the river. They grab her head. They love that she's got wigs that come with it. And here we go. Here's the tying in of it all. Yes, she is beautiful, even though she is dead. My cadaver, my savior, or cadavera. So they take off, and basically this professor is aging, and I think where it's going is they need this head to help him with to help him stop aging. So overall, I really enjoyed this. Um, look at the panel work here; how they're shooting across the panels. Here's one that I thought was very dynamic. Yeah, right, look at that, <laughs> jumping panel to panel. So overall, I liked it. I thought the artwork was pretty cool. I'm not a big person for horror. I am a big person for weird. I love weird stuff, uh, especially my comics. Um, so definitely, if you see this out there, pick it up. Uh, great pickup. Uh, if anybody's heard of this, let me know and tell me what you think. Uh, it would be interesting to hear your comments on it. Uh, next up, after I get back from the hospital, I'm going to be doing a uh, book review for a book that's coming out. It's be called Isle of the Dark. Um, I'm a little bit behind. I want to get this done before I went in the hospital, but I have preparations to make and things to do. Uh, but we're going to be doing that. And that's just a normal book. It's not a comic book. But I think this young lady it has much potential. And, hey, I want to give her some support. I always do that as an artist and a writer. So I want to do a little preview and get the, get some hype built up for it. So next, I'm not sure about next Thursday and Friday if we're going to be doing Hulk Fever and uh, Eye for Indies. Uh, we may have a little break. Like I said, I'm going into the hospital for a hernia surgery. Having about three or four hernias taken out of my stomach. I'm not going to show you them because they're gross. Uh, so if I miss you next week, it's because I'm just really, really under the weather. Uh, but still, keep an eye out. Like I said, it all depends on how I feel. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're new, please subscribe. Please like and please share. And everybody have a great weekend. Bye.